Hey folks, this is Nod, uh, we're playing Space Engineers, and uh, I've been extremely busy. So let me see, where did we leave off last time? Um, yeah, I got my merge blocks uh, sorted out, that's all working good. And I now have oxygen uh, for, I have this wonderful oxygen farm, making all sorts of lovely oxygen for me now. So as you can see there, I have uh, enough air in the station that I can actually take my helmet off. 60, anything above 50% pressurization you can actually breathe apparently. See, it says uh, oxygen high, although it's high enough to breathe, I guess. So uh, that's good. Uh, oxygen farms are putting out a, I don't know, they're they're doing their thing, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, so let me show you what I've been up to in this place. I've put a, uh, I've made a bigger airlock over here. You see my very important sign: put your helmet on when you go into the airlock. So let's do that. Helmet is on. I hope. <laughs> All right, so I had a little bit of an issue with this airlock. Um, uh, a couple of episodes ago, I came in here and I, uh, <laughs> I almost killed myself. And what was happening was the um, when you open this door here, you get this blast of air that knocks you back a few feet, and it was smacking me into the door back here and was hurting, it was killing me. So um, I just show you a little example here. So. so there we go. We opened up the space. So. So yeah, I would come into my airlock, like this, spin around, close the door behind me, go over here, and open the door, and of course you get this giant blowback, boing, and it would blow me back, all the way back to here, you see. So, um, <laughs> uh, what I've done is, or uh, well, previously the door was like here, instead of over there, and you know, that, that blowback was knocking me right to the door, and you know, knocking my lights out, it was like, ouch! So a bigger airlock is good. I should have to. You need at least I don't know, two, three blocks between a, an air door, a door I guess. Or you know I could just uh, I could put an air vent in there and depressurize it. But you know that takes time. And, ah, I don't want to mess with all that complication. So uh, anyway, yep, that's the new airlock. That's a very cool. All right, so the solar farm is going well. So anyway, let me show you what else I've been up to. It's lots of cool stuff. Show. Um, yeah, still got nothing going on on these two sides here. I've got, um, you know, it's, eventually I'll put some more things on the uh, station either side here. I got merge blocks set up over there, but um, for now, just don't open those doors. That would be bad. So, uh, moving along. So here's my sort of like one of my two rings here with the thrusters, the gyros, and uh, I got some weapons on here. It's all very purple in here. I didn't put the purple here. It was like this when I got the station, and I'm going to keep it because it's purple and it's cool. All right, here's my center hub of the middle of the station. And, um, you know, before there was like four axis corridors going up to the bridge up here. And I thought, I don't really need four. That's just crazy. So I, I put this, I, I took out two of them, and now I've got access to this container here, you know, that shows me my, you know, I can get my inventory now, so. And I've put these containers here and there in the station. They're hooked up to the uh, the, the uh, conveyor uh, system so that I can I can access my stuff from most places in the station. So anyway, moving right along. So um, yeah, that goes up the bridge. Let me show you the bridge real quick. Uh, let's get back. On we go. Zoom up here. As soon as you see red, you stop before you hit the ceiling. I painted the top block. Uh, top block is painted red just so I, I know when to turn off the uh, <laughs> stop hitting the space bar. All right, so I put another another layer of windows up here, so it's like a little less claustrophobic. You can see out, at least I can see up now. And I got some basic LCD panels going on up here. Nothing too special, just some power out, uh, just some power display stuff. Uh, that's with the LCD uh, mod, which is super cool. Anyway, um, all right, let's get off the bridge here. Head down, down. Bonk. Okay, which way are we going? We were going this way. Oh, we don't know. No, we weren't. We're going this way. All right, so this is the reactor room. Nothing too special in here. I really haven't modified this much. This is the way it was, pretty much. There's a, I, there was, th I think, like five completely useless workstations up here. I, I reduced those but down to three, so there's not quite as many, which is cool. Anyway, there's the reactors. Um, I'm actually not using the reactors. Uh, they're just for emergency power. I'm running everything on solar is the idea, So, but I have the reactors in case I need them. 
So they're off right now, and they will stay off unless I need them. So far, the solar panels seem to be holding their own. Moving right along. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I did it anyway. I have a, a refinery in here, and um, an assembler. Okay. So uh, the idea here is a uh, my phone is beeping here, but uh, don't mind that. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I could just you know if I need to make stuff in situ, I can do that. So that's kind of an idea. And I got some basic displays here about ingots and uh, ore and uh, components and stuff, so I can keep an eye on that. Okay, let's move on up. Okie dokie, which way will we go on this way? You know what, let me answer my phone real quick and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Where was I? Alright, so, yep, there's the refinery and uh, the assembler. Do that. And over here we have um, the reactor room, which we already talked about, right? Moving right along. Ay, ay, ay. I'm also confused. Okay, um, there's another one of these uh, ring things with the uh, thrusters and whatnot on. And here we have a second of these large sort of four-way rooms with my air vent churning away there, making lots of lovely air. Okay, over here we have the medical bay. I simplified this a little bit. I've just got one medical bay now, so I fill up on the stuff there. So that, this does energy, oxygen, and hydrogen. Um, I'm not, I can't actually make hydrogen on the station, but I do have a hydrogen tank, so I just have to like supply that, which is fine. And I got a little screen over here so I can see what's up. See, uh, my oxygen tank has still got Zippo in it, but it it will actually fill up if I oh, if I click over here. It will actually use it will actually give me oxygen even though my tank's empty. It just it's coming. I uh, presume it's coming directly from the oxygen farm straight into my. Uh, into my suit, which is kind of cool. I guess the suit takes priority. And uh, anyway, and I've got a container in here so I can uh, access stuff and things. All right, moving right along. And this is my uh, super cool like situation room. Um, got a pr programmable block and a timer block. I'll show you what that's for in a second. Another access point. Some more displays with like um, ore and ingots and components, and I also have up here um, all the ammo for my uh, my the station's weaponry. And it looks like I need to make some more of those 40 millimeter whatever those are. Yes, need more of that. And we have another airlock here. Don't forget to put your helmet on. Uh, I just wanted another way, another place to get out of the station where the first is running all the way back down the other end. So I might actually put another. Another one over. Well, I don't know. Don't want too many of these uh, airlocks because every time you use them, of course, it like it lets some air out. This is a pretty big airlock. It's not. Well, it's not huge, I guess. But this one, I, I put. I, you know, I didn't put the doors opposite each other. So the idea that maybe the blowback now will. You know, when I enter here and hit. And actually, I just thought about this. If I open this door here, it's going to blow me back into this window, isn't it? Got to keep that in mind, or maybe I need to stand off to the side. Let's test that real quick and see what happens. My helmet on. Helmet on, okay. Okay. Vacuum of space, very good. Okay, close that. Okay, so if I stand here, does it blow me back into the, <laughs> into the wall? Bonk. Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, well, that's not super great. <laughs> Just have to be mindful of that, I suppose. One more time. This is kind of cool out here. I made a little, made a little platform to stand on here. Just kind of nifty. Little landing platform there. Anyway, um, back to this. So, if I stand off to the side of here, does it? blow me back. I see that's much easier. Maybe the idea is you shouldn't stand directly in front of a door you're opening. That's kind of cool. Okay. Good to know. Don't forget to turn your helmet on. Uh, off, on, off, on. I don't know. This is kind of cool. <laughs> this mod is just awesome. Um, 
that's my station up there. I don't know if you've seen this mod before, but it is just absolutely freaking awesome. You know, let me get the uh, get the actual thing here. Let's see. Uh, this is the floor plan script. It is cross compatible, whatever that means, and um, it's just freaking awesome. It, uh, it, it does it makes a floor plan um, of your base, and you can see all this all this like telemetry and stuff on the screen, like the like orange dots means damage blocks or missing blocks. Um, yellow ones are like things like air vents and stuff that are like either blinking that means they're in a vacuum or they're putting out air or stuff. And I don't know. It's just all you can just kind of see what's going on in your ship and there's all manner of like controls and stuff you can rotate and zoom and do all sorts of stuff with this. I I've got to play with it more, but it's just it's just kind of cool. So um, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that too much, but um. I decided I needed one for my station, so we've got that, which is kind of cool. Yeah, actually, let like, me demo it real quick. If I uh, if I do something terrible over here to my um, let's see my container here, there's nothing in here, right? No, okay. So if I break my container, see that now appeared here as an orange, a yellow block right up there, and hopefully once the nanites fix this. Here they come. <clears throat> fixing, 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 and it's gone back to green. So that's kind of like shows you what's going on. I guess in combat this would be super useful. Um, yeah, I can see what's going on. It's made out of, uh, it's kind of cool because I made it out of four uh, wide panels so you can you can make a giant display like this, and it, you know, it's smart enough to deal with that. And it's very cool. So um, yeah, I got more telemetry and stuff up here, and, and so that's kind of my, my situation room. Cool stuff. Moving right along. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, we, we were going this way. So moving down into the crews, the, the crew quarters. I mean, it's only me on here, but if I invited people over, I suppose they could chill out in these uh, these bunks. We have a whole line of bunks going down either side of this, and this is just the coolest thing ever. This was part of the original station. I didn't build any of this. This is obviously a bathroom. <laughs> I mean, what else would that? What else would that be? Clearly, that's that's a job in there. And there's another one over here, and. Um, as you can see, I put the jump drive in upstairs there. I, I'll get to that in a second, but it's made this cool sort of like dome light in here. So yeah, here you are sitting there doing your business, and um, you got this giant dome light to um, read by, I guess. I should keep those closed. So yeah, so we've got um, there's the dorm and the crew's quarters and stuff. So again, I didn't make this. This was just part of the original thing. I tweaked it here and there a little bit, but. Uh, this room I made a little bit, a few changes to. Obviously, you see, I can put the, I put two jump drives in here, so I can move this station. Now, I didn't realize the thing about jump drives. I always assumed you, you had two or more jump, dri jump drives, so that you could be charging one and jumping with another one uh, at the same time. But I don't know, maybe that's not how they work. I think maybe they're cumulative, because you know, before when I moved this station, it took, I don't know, it took four or five different jumps to get here. It's, but I guess what jump drives do, if you have more than one, is it they add up together so you can get you can jump twice as far, which is definitely what I need for this station because it weighs a bloody ton. Uh, so yeah. Um, anyway, jump drives are cool. I got another uh, storage thing so I can access the stuff. I got my jump drive charge level there, and uh, just some power reactor sort of stuff going on there. So um, that's good. Now. You remember a few episodes ago, you may have seen that video, I uh, I went to all sorts of trouble of getting a, a solar panels over here, and um, I rescued the solar panel that fell off the station while I was rescuing the station, and I ended up just basically dismantling it in favor of these marvelous ones that I've come up with, they're about twice the size, and I just think the aesthetics of them and the design is just a little bit better than the kind of strange higgly piggly design there was before. So I got one on this side, and one over here. And for now, they're just spinning around super slow, so they'll catch, you know, full sunlight at least part of the time. Um, again, I think I'm going to probably check out, there's some script I heard about, I saw in a YouTube video, read about it somewhere, uh, some script that makes your panels track the sun, so I, I don't know, i got to look at that and see if that works. But for now, 
I've noticed just spinning them really slowly actually sort of works. Um, it, it doesn't matter which way, where the sun goes, at some point during the day, or, or during the rotation, I don't know how fast they rotate, but you will get uh, solar power. So, um, yeah, that's sort of working. I don't know if it's the most efficient way, but it's kind of doing its thing. So, um, yeah, what else is there to show about the station? Let's, uh, let's hop outside and show you a couple of things. Anyway, that's the interior so far, and it's all going pretty good. Let's go use my new airlock. Okay, helmet on. Okay, helmet is on pretty good. Ah, yes, I do have things to show you. All right, so um. Yeah, this thing's kind of new. I built this pretty much from scratch. Uh, these are all more or less the same as my new solar panels, doing looking very cool indeed. Um, yeah, this is pretty much stuck the way it was. And uh, this, I kind of, this is my refinery and stuff over here. Uh, I kind of rebuilt this a little, quite a bit to make sure, you know. Yeah, it was fitting that um, refinery in there. I forgot how tall those things are. Bloody enormous. Anyway, so I got that. That's kind of new. Um, this is new. I designed this myself. This is a, a, a basically I wanted some storage, and I, the station originally had lots of small containers spread out all over the place. And I suppose that makes sense if for a combat vessel, you know, you want to spread out your stuff so you know you don't have all your eggs in one basket. Uh, you know. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, or something like that. Um, but I like to have all my stuff in one container, so um, it's just less hassle trying to find stuff. So um, I got three large containers in here. Uh, the middle one is for com is for components. This will be for ingots, and this one over here, the red one, will be for ore. And uh, I kind of, you know. Again, this is not a combat vessel, so it doesn't have to be super strong, but I did put some armored blocks around these, just, you know, for some protection. I mean, granted, it's got holes in it, so a well-aimed shot would go in there, but it's got some protection. And uh, I got some docking ports on the bottom here so I could dock stuff uh, directly to my containers. And, uh, and we have merge blocks up here, so I'm thinking, you know, for shipping and, f you know, I could actually disconnect this whole thing have some sort of like hauling ship and just transport you know all this storage stuff between here and maybe my moon or wherever else I go so I kinda like that it's just a sort of modular storage connection thing you just stick them on there anyway that's the idea for now it looks really heavy though I don't know if all that armor block was really necessary but it's not gonna do much traveling with the station once it moves it's moved and like, along the same lines, um, as I said, I don't have any way of producing hydrogen on here because I don't have a uh, an oxygen generator on here, you know. So, so there's no way of feeding ice into this station. It's just, you know, I'm using the solar farm to generate my oxygen, but I do want hydrogen on here for filling up my hydrogen tanks, um, you know, my, my jetpack and stuff. So I put this hydrogen tank on here, and again, it's got merge blocks. So the way I filled this up was I uh, I just detached the whole thing. It's got a battery and a little control panel here um, which allows me to uh, maintain the power of the uh, merge blocks when it's disconnected. And you know I just hold that over to my station here where I have a where I do have a, an oxygen generator and uh, I do have a hydrogen tank and I just transferred the uh, hydrogen into here. So this is like 90 something percent full so that'll last a good long time. So I, I don't feel the need to put an oxygen generator thing on on this station I think that'll be fine you know if I run low I'll just make a I'll just run a run a mission and just pick up some hydrogen somewhere so um yeah that's kind of where we're at with the station for now so um I'm kind of running out of things to do with it um I think it's almost time to kind of move it and uh, take it over to the moon and uh, set it up there in orbit but um I'm reluctant to move it yet because um <laughs> I, I really want my nanite, uh, you know, assembly thing down here to help me, uh, to help me move uh, stuff away from here. I mean, that, what am I talking? To help me, um, you know, if I want to build anything on here, it's super nice to have that close by. 
Speaking of which, um, oh, it's almost finished. Good, good. Yeah, the, the station had a ridiculous hangar bay thing. Maybe I'll put a quick clip of it on there. You see, I had this hangar bay on there, and it was just this giant, it was this giant lump of armored blocks for no good reason, just taking up lots of space. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to get rid of that. And, uh, so I ground that down, and uh, I actually used the uh, the nanites to um, eat it all up, and just uh, the uh, deconstructed thing, and it's. It's reduced it down to this, which is rather interesting. It's left just these, just these six blocks here. Uh, that's really weird. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to finish that up by hand. It's also purple, which means it's missing some components. So I'll have to check on that. All right. But uh, anyway, yeah, I think we're just about ready to move uh, the station. So maybe that'll be a uh, something for another e episode. Anyway, uh, there we go. Um, that's the station, so I've been busy, 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 I have. So, um, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm uh, very pleased with this. I, it's, uh, that was quite a deal picking that up, you know. found a, a, just this junk station, and I've turned it into something really quite nice, I think. I'm pretty proud of this. It's, uh, it's been quite a bit of work, but then again, it's not half as much work as starting from scratch with the station. And I kind of enjoyed the challenge of, like, both, you know, figuring out what whoever made this had in mind for all this stuff, and uh, I'm just sort of making it my own. I, I really like that, so I might have to do that with some other ships. Uh, go rescue some vessels and just sort of turn them into my own thing. Uh, I think that's just absolutely brilliant. I love that part of this. I love that part of this game, so... Anyway, there we go. Um, that's where we're at so far, so... Pleased we are. And as always, um, please subscribe if you like my videos, and um, please comment if you if you like them or don't like them. Uh, I'd love to hear from you either way. And um, yeah, give me a like, and um, that's all. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.